have sex. But if you get to 25 and you haven't had sex in the world of today, there might be something a bit weird with you. There's nothing wrong. There's, There's nothing, nothing wrong. wrong. So I can literally go a year without it. It's not that serious. You're not going to go so a year. So in that instance, I can go a year. I've been a year. So you're bossing the road, My partner then. lives in another country. What are you talking about? And no masturbation. Oh, oh yeah. What's up guys, it's your girl Esther and I am back with another question. So I've been married for five years and my husband has never made me climax. Ooh. Now before I met him, I used to bust several nuts with my ex. Now my husband is an amazing, amazing man, a provider, a lover, doing all the right things for me. But I don't know how much more I can take of this. What should I do? Yo, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big up for the question. Back up for the question. Shocked and shocked by the question. I would like the ladies to start, actually. Okay, can we? Shall we go like this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, how are you feeling, sister? I need a bit of time. Can we go from the other side? Well, you never give you Lois and come back. Lois. Okay, I'll. Lois, you go first, please. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Stop being shook. Come on. Five years of no climax in his peak. This scenario is too much. Where do I even begin? Oh my days. Frustration. Honestly, I'd have to sit down with him and be like, babe, something needs to change. Like, you need to right, take it's my not direction. Changing, so what are you going to do then? <laughs> Who, wait, whose fault is it if you don't climax? Is it the man's or is it yours for not telling the I'm man how wait. to climax? I think it's a double-edged sword. Mm. Hey, but you ain't climaxing, so what are you going to do now? I don't fake. I don't fake because you're going to think what you did was good and you're going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> What if you tell him what to do and it don't and he still can't do it? Then what are you gonna do? Are you gonna leave him? That's what four plays for, though, no? He's a good man. That's We're coming to you, Cookie. You hold on. He's a great guy. No, I'll stay. I'll stay. I genuinely, I genuinely believe sex can always progress and get better. It's just five years. Five years. In. He hasn't learned. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like I need to, I need to sit baby girl down and. Lois, are you staying? Yes or no? Or are you cheating? Oh. This is gonna sound a bit loaded, but. I need to know. Help me out. No, oh. I'm, I won't oh. cheat. I've learned my cheat? lesson. All right? No, you won't stay. Or you will stay. <laughs> yeah, I w that has no, to I stop. I can't go the rest of my life if, with shit sex. If, if, so you have to stop it. So the relationship's so based on sex then, then, basically? No. The relationship is not based on sex. They were, they were married. But, oh, they're married? You're going to get your chance, girl. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> No, yeah, PUA, we try to say the relationship was based on sex. I'm asking, is it based on sex then, if that's the case? If you're willing to leave him after five years of dealing with it and you can't meet him up, are you... What? How important is sex in a relationship? Super important. But, okay, so... Is that for you or every female? Because I want to know that. Girl. So you staying or you going? Marriage, by the way. I'm staying. Okay. De novo, let's go. As far as I'm concerned, if you know your own body, it doesn't really matter who the other person is, you can make it happen. I can't say I have bad Dinava, what do you mean that we can make ourselves do it? We're not men. Men can do that. We need something to stimulate us and to make us climax. Also, every man you've been with has done the job. Hello. I do the job. Yeah, you do the job. I know how to do the job. Let's not move away from what we're actually asking here. Yeah. Motherfucker, you staying or you going? Of course I'd Five say Five years, no climax. Listen, let me tell you one thing. I'm a great communicator and I'm a great teacher and I know how to move my body. That means that five years into the relationship, there is no way that I haven't done it. There is no way that you won't be pleasing me because I'll make you feel like a man you have no but choice. But the scenario is that he has not and whatever but movements the, you're doing ain't working. Listen, right, no, are you staying or are you listen. going? <laughs> you staying or are you the going? The Portuguese one? one is not working. It's not working. We don't want a, we don't want a science project. We want your answer. You staying or going? Basically, you guys can't take the subtle hint. If I can please myself with my man, then of course I'm staying. It's not a big deal. So you're gonna please yourself? Yeah, with him. Yes. See, that's dead. He's just a body. Listen, that's listen. Dead. A man can be nothing more than a walking dildo, really, sometimes when it comes but to that's sex. That's not it's what I right. want. Just give me a kiss on the neck here and then, it's alright. Cookie! Cookie! I'm, Cookie. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm staying. Um, 
that's what four plays for. That's what do you know what I'm saying? He just he just said that it ain't it's working. It's so working. it ain't it's for five years. He's licking and nothing is sticking. If he's licking and nothing's happening, then there's a problem there. So I'm are you staying like, or are you going? I just do it myself with the rose toy, I'll stay. It's not an issue. So you're staying with your toy? I'll do it myself, it's not an issue. Like we'll get whatever you down. Last time of finish. masturbation. She already had bad experience with her ex. She don't need no more. It's okay. No, hey Leah. What are you telling me? Leah, what are you saying? I'm not gonna lie. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't this a bit uncomfortable for you to talk? No, like your no, go on, go on. Careful with your words. <laughs> 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 if you want, if you want to go past this, you are welcome to go past this. She, she, she's on the, she's on the protective custody thing. It's calm. I can't do nothing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even answering that question because how the fuck do you not know? Like, why is it for you to be in a relationship for five, a marriage not for what? five years That's and not know that you can fuck that? Look how he fucks, bro. You shouldn't have known how he fucks from before the marriage. Maybe she's a virgin. So you're gone. So you I'm, gone I'm, or you staying? I'm not even married. I'm not even married. No, okay, no, but imagine this scenario. What would you do? I can't imagine it, man. I know it's not going to happen. A woman waiting, wait, let's say a woman waited until marriage. She waited until marriage, no. then she found out, yeah, like. Yeah. But her ex, her ex was doing the thing nice, nice. So she has comparison points. Uh, where are you at, ex? <laughs> <laughs> so you're cheating. She's so spinning the block. Really She's weird. spinning the block, basically. I'm going to spin the block to the ex until he. Oh, so you're cheating? No! So you're gonna cheat? So how are you spending the blocks today? And you're married as well. I you're just have to get my divorce papers. Okay, so you're gone, that's calm. Ash. Ash. I'm leaving. How am I not surprised? I'm not surprised at all, Ashley. Because you're the type of girl that I just don't think that you, you, you're you about loyalty and commitment. I think you're all about yourself. So obviously, if the guy's not hitting it right, you're out the dow. Not before he spends a pretty penny on you, though. Can you explain why you why you would leave? Um, because it's a, se sex is a, it's a need. I think yeah. it's a human need. You yeah, need it need. for you to be able to function in the world. When Come you on. You started doing it, right? Mm. So if I'm not having my needs and you're not meeting my needs, then I have to go with somebody that's going to meet my needs. I and I don't think that's selfish. It. Because if I'm not, if I'm not getting my needs met, then you're going to get the result of that. Bearing in mind, you know, he's a good man, you know. I'm going to be angry, I'm going yeah. to be so frustrated. Not forgetting he's a good man. Cheat. Okay, that's great. You can be a good man and not please a woman with somebody else. I'm gonna, you I'm can gonna. do that with somebody else. So is sex more, hold on, is sex more important than money then? No. What? Not How did we end up there? Basically, what he said is, what if he's supplying everything else and that's he's a good that. man? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. It, Financially, yeah, everything, but yeah. you still will feel like, oh, yeah. no, I can't do this. I'm pretty sure I can find a rich guy who knows how to dick Wait. me down well. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so I'll Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, I can make my own money. Oh, I can make my own money. How about that? I want to jump off. Oh, so the sex is more important? That's what Prince there. Yeah. Yeah, that's why did everyone go? Oh, what are you asking that for? It makes sense. What I was La asking. Ladies, you know what it is. <laughs> Sorry, so I just want to say something because I, I let you go speak. I just find it's quite interesting. So this is the one of the problems that we say that multiple partners don't 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 do well for women because, like, how how could you know? Okay, in regards to this, she's comparing it to an ex. Okay. Yeah. So you know when they talk about alpha widow, didn't it? Yeah. So me as a guy, I've met you now. You know, what I'm saying I have good intention. I'm doing all the right things. I'm providing, but just in maybe in the bedroom, I slightly lack. Okay, cool. But you're now reminiscing a guy who was good in bed, but obviously he was not a good partner. Because if so, you would have been with him, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when we, when we speak to women, we say having Nothing multiple partners bad. doesn't do anything for your husband. What do they do? Because in the end, what tends to happen is you start saying, oh, you know what? He, his dick is... Uh, he, um, he, he, My know, ex was better. You know, his size, or he couldn't move this, or he couldn't use his tongue. And what you're actually doing is... Com <laughs> comparison is a thief of joy. So you're comparing him with previous relationships. So what good do all of these partners serve when you actually meet a man and he's a good man and he's working hard, he's doing all the right things, but it comes down to sex. And I'll be honest with you, some of you girls, I'll be real, you're not, in, you're not as good in bed as you think you are. I'm gonna keep it real. I've heard this Facts. from guys. I like this, put the sisters in their place. All right, don't get angry, don't get angry. She's not. I'm not. But Tyler, we can say the same about you. Men, 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 Actually, can whatever if yeah, they wanted yeah, cool. to. It's very difficult right, cool. for you to get right, a woman but, to. But here's the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Shorty, what was you gonna say? You gonna say something? Oh, she hand was up. Say something, Shorty. Sorry, I was gonna say, yeah. The thing is, when it comes down to sex and a relationship, yeah, if your feelings are really there, it's like it will yeah. feel better, anyways. Mm. So, if 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 it's like you're saying, it. what if he's got three inches hard? <laughs> is your feelings gonna be the same? <laughs> Blood, this is all cat, bruv. Oh. Bruh. No, but 
wait, the really? thing is, yeah, it depends. You know where you said size, yeah? A nigga could have a big dick, yeah, but not know how to use Mom, it. Please. A, a nigga could have a smaller dick, but no. know how to use it. Okay. What would you prefer? Wait, a smaller one. No, the big no, one's no. hurt. No. I can't. No. 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 Tapping out for. Don't tap out, Cookie. Don't tap out. Cookie, just drink, just, just, take, just drink some water and just get straight listen back in there. Don't what, tap listen out. to the danger of what you guys not understanding. A man with a small penis, yeah, is more likely to be a very, very troubled man because a small penis is actually an indication <laughs> of his masculinity amongst other men. So he's probably going to be the type of man that has a micro penis who will not even want to shower around other men because it's embarrassment and shame. I would not want to be with a man that lives in shame. So you want a man that showers around other men? <laughs> I want, listen, listen. You want your man to show? I'm confident to show around you guys. No, and what I mean, what I mean is that, for example. You could use a better example, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was a bit Listen, mad. listen, I like a man that is active in sport. In sport, men get in change around each other Wait, in the so changing rooms. No, what? You're on no, the towel whip thing, that's it. Yo, bro, good game, good game. That, no, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. listen. Stop why are you guys acting? Why are you guys acting like men being naked around each other? Is it oh, wait, wait. Can I tell you something? I, know that I can't stand the man them in the gym here that just do too much. Let's take it all off. You know when yeah, you're in this? I'm like, bro. Yeah, bro. And the man that... And, and the man that walk bare feet, if you can walk bare feet, you, but I will never have no beef with these men. These men are just... <laughs> These men are reckless. Bare feet in the gym. Basically, you're just a reckless warrior. I don't want no smokers. You don't care about nothing. You ain't got no regard for life. Listen, let me tell you something. A man with a small penis is a man that actually carries a lot of baggage of insecurity and issues related to his masculinity. That's why I would not want to be around one. But what if with his small penis, he then learns how to be a really good That's lover called big dick energy. Because he, he hasn't knows got he hasn't got the inches. Yeah, like he knows he does. So he makes up for it in foreplay. He makes up for it in foreplay. But you have to realize that a man. Wait, you have to realize that a man is more than what he is to you. He is also a man around other men. He's also a man in the world. What's that got to do with you busting nuts? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> The reason why is because I'm telling you, if a man is feeling some type of way about his even sexual personality or ability, he will feel some type of way in the world because that's some, that is part of something that makes a man a, a man. Listen, don't worry about the changing room. Just worry about what he's doing to you. Yeah, but even still, I'm, I, a man that is a man that is going to be with me in the outside world, how he feels outside is going to impact me in the way. But what if he don't know? What if he don't know? What if he thinks he's serious? <laughs> what if he thinks he's sick? <laughs> Six inches and above is big. This is three inches. Yeah, but that's impossible. This doesn't even, how does it even like go up there? How do you even impregnate a woman with this? That's why big dicks are a sign of fertility because it goes deeper. It makes it easier to get to the location. Yes, doctor. Say hypothetically speaking, not talk about myself. Don't let him talk. Please let him talk. Please let him talk. Please. Let him talk. Please. Let's just say hypothetically speaking, not talk about myself. <coughs> if you had. <laughs> <laughs> what does one do to. To make it work. Okay, the, the only way, the only way that a man can actually make it okay to, to work with that is if he, in the moment he does, he puts his whole into it, where he can oh. actually make the woman feel more than just the penis, where he's about making her feel seducted, kissing, different. Don't take advice from girls! Bad! All you guys, don't take advice! But you're fucking women, so why wouldn't you take advice? You ain't done it! How are you talking about what a woman like? When I'm a woman, have you got a clitoris? No, you do not. How many girls have you made come in your life? Shut up. Can I ask a question to the guys? How many have you? A lot. What's a lot? A lot. Not every single time. They're lying. Lot. They're lying. Okay. Well, then they're, they're deceiving themselves. I can make myself come every time, no fail. I've got 100% success rate, so don't compete with me. Okay. How is a man trying to argue with me about how women achieve climaxes or origamis pg version i'm a girl i know what i'm doing you don't know as much as i do so sit down michael okay you ain't that bad that's the question as men do you guys think in the bedroom you can clock cues of when your sexual partner is enjoying themselves Good or question. not enjoying yeah. themselves Young yeah. you think you can tell yes. Yes. wait 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 i want to uh, i want them to answer what what do you feel are the signs like just actually genuinely answer like can you tell when a girl <laughs> they want to know our technique you know this is yeah. <laughs> yeah no 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 we want to give away 
the drip. You're trying to get the comments on our next scene. Sorry, the sex doctor wants to talk. Go on. I'm not sex. Do- I'm, I'm just saying what I've experienced in my life. What's wrong with you? Why are you pressed? Why are you triggered? 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 No, All right, come on, let him on. So let him on. So. All right. Well, what I personally see from my experience, if you let a girl get on top. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? What's funny? Like you can visualize it. Visualize it. Think about it. <laughs> When you let a girl get on top and let her grind her clitoris against your pubic bone, she will usually get off quite easily. See, that's what I said. You can make it happen. So we're in agreement. We're both making it happen because it's my pubic bone. Yeah, but it's the girl doing the work. It's the and girl. my dick is inside her at yeah, the same exactly. time. Exactly. So it's not really that. So you rub, the, you rub it on the clit if it's, if it's like if it's that's pretty disgusting. Let's not be getting. Let's not. But she'll, she, she's going to dictate the rhythm and all of that yeah. stuff and the pressure no, and but stuff Michael, like that. Can you tell when? Yeah, when, when she's not enjoying, enjoying herself it. or not? Enjoying well, not enjoying it. She'll probably just be like dead fish in it. Like she'll just be there. Oh, that's not true. Dead fish? What do you mean? As in See, that's how we know you don't know what you're talking yeah. about. I don't know what I'm talking about. How is that? Guys, let's let them answer Wait, the question. You, you, you know what answer for his opinion. Let him answer honestly to how he sees it. And so do you think that was wrong? Hold on. So do you think that was wrong what I said about the girl being on top? Is that wrong? No. You were telling us your technique. You didn't answer the no, question. No, 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 you were literally you telling us what you do trying to prove When I've had sex with a girl and a girl's <laughs> orgasm... That's not what she asked you. But I'm just asking you now. But I'm asking you now. Do you think I'm chatting shit? That is so that. irrelevant. Because you said that I don't know what I'm talking no, but, about. but you don't know because you haven't told us. No, exactly. You haven't answered the question. Yeah. You're telling us... When do you know that it's going wrong? When do I know it's going wrong? When do you know it's going well? How do you know she's no, enjoying it? No, how do you know she's not enjoying it? Because I that's the important one. I, I did give both to Well, boy, I think that noises, just the way she's behaving, her movements, everything. Have like, everything. Uh, yeah. What else? What, what else? And she's going to say, oh, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. She could be lying. He's changing his artist changed. Of course you're going to say that, because everything I say, you think I'm chatting shit. I don't care what you think. Why is he taking it? Why are you getting emotional? That's such a good question. Let's hear from all the guys. Let's go. Boys and girls. Listen, you guys have got sexual tension. You need to relax. I know. I think she's onto me, you know. P Wave, can you tell? She could be in my OnlyFans. Yes, I can definitely tell if she is enjoying herself or not. What would you say? I said your mum could ten be. Time out of ten, nine, nine times out of ten, I would know. I don't know who the fuck this Ashley girl thinks she is about bringing mums into it. Like, bruh, can it, yeah? Can it? Because, bruh, you're nothing special. Yeah, and really and truly, I was just messing around and then you want to try to take it serious. Obviously, you're a pagan, innit? Don't worry, I see the move, I see the motion. You guys have got too much tension. I'm sure you guys will handle each other very well, but relax. Bro, like, what do you mean, man? She's talking about, she's talking about mums, like, she's an idiot. Michael? She's an idiot, bruv. Michael? Donut, dickhead. Michael. I thought you said you're not emotional. Shut your mouth, man. Ash, don't have that. <laughs> hey, stop instigating, man. No, what do you mean? Don't have that. No, don't be on her side about bringing mums. What are you talking about? Where's your mum? Why are you emotional? Why are you emotional? Shut your mouth, man. Keep quiet, man. Hey, Ash, Ash, Miss Ashley, please, please, Miss Ashley, please. No, 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 no. Don't bring mums into it. Don't, don't be disrespectful like that. Then. Mums or bums, man. Mums. Oh, what's mums got to do with it? Like, man, man made just a normal joke and then she was like straight to mum's. Like, what mum? What mum? Yeah, like, what's she on? Like, fuck off, man. Shut up, bruv. It was a joke, too. It was a joke, too. Don't talk to me, man. Dickhead, man. Shut your mouth. Make me. Bruv. Make me. Aye, it's childish now. Just shush, bruv. Aye, uh, yeah, whatever. Michael, can you tell when the girl that you're sleeping like with. Like I said before, I said yes. Can you tell when she's not enjoying herself? And that don't happen to me, I'm gonna be real. I, I don't know about that lifestyle. Be I don't careful. know about No, no. He, he, he's talking sense. Them girls lie to you. Man. I you don't right know now. about that lifestyle. Wait, I, when you say you don't know, as in you. you I've never you experienced a girl not a, a, so like, enjoying like a sex me. expert. Okay. He's got sauce. Not all the things, but. You I've got experience. <laughs> no, I have learned no tonton. I've done it before, I'm not gonna lie. I've done it before to my baby mum. That's the only girl I've ever done it to. I'm not, I'm not a guy that goes, eats from every restaurant. I'm not that guy. It's home cooked food, that's it. Oh, so, oh, that's an interesting point. P Wave. That's an interesting point. You said that you've only gone down on your baby mum, so yeah. that, but you assume that every other girl that you've not gone down on has enjoyed themselves. 100%. That's very dangerous territory. Just letting well, you know. Well, Lois, you'd only say that it's dangerous because you understand the power that comes with confidence in that department. That's it, literally. No, it's not dangerous, I would know. Like I just said. But I think another way you know is if she keeps coming back. 
I would know. Not necessarily. It's me. I'm telling you. So you, if you're having if you're having bad sex with a guy, you're gonna keep going back to bad sex. Yeah. I would know if it was bad. She would come back. Hold on. Yeah. You'd keep going back to bad sex for convenience. Yeah. I've got reoccurring. I've got reoccurrences. Hold on, hold on. Wasn't you the same person that saying that dick is easy to get? When did I say that? In the last show. She didn't want to add another body. She just wants to keep it. You know what? Yeah, just another body. Just... Now you're helping her. She wasn't thinking that. She wasn't thinking that. I said out of convenience. Out of, what does out of convenience mean? Bro, because mean? it might just be next door. No, it's not about him. You know he's not next door. Convenience, he's someone that I can just call up. Okay. And have bad sex. Yeah, that makes a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, if I want bad sex, no, I'll have okay. bad sex. Do you get what I'm saying? If your sex is up to, up to par, the girl's going to come back whether you use your mouth or but not. Let me ask you, you ain't making you nobody come. Truth of the matter. Guys. You can side to side or you want. You ain't met a Jamaican uh, that will mash up your blood clot. That's it. And Jamaican men do. You get more set up. I'm just saying most women don't climax. Unless that's what you think, has, darling. Not like, not like, not like. That's, that's not true. Darling, it's research. Yeah. If a man's Most women don't listen, climax with penetration. If no. a man's got it's good hands, research. I'm not saying you're not lying. I, I know I'm not lying. <laughs> I know, I know I'm, I'm not lying. Saying, I, didn't... <laughs> I know. I've had personal experiences. I've seen water. I've seen. I've seen waterfalls from nothing. Okay. I promise you, darling. That's some big dick energy. Cool. Chinks. Next. Who told you? Who actually told you that you've got good game? Is it those girls that you're fucking, that you think you have good game? They're lying to you, my brother. P-Wave, don't let these girls deceive you, yeah? All that, oh, yeah, and good reviews. It's a lie. It's a lie. Girls like to look pretty and do the mad thing and look sexy and all of that, but when you're not caring about looking sexy and you're doing oh, all of the yeah. ugly faces... Yes! Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Mum. Sorry, Mum. No, it's true. Sometimes our faces embarrass us. Do the mad faces, but it's, it's nice, though, in that moment. Nah. Uh-huh. He knows what he's talking about. All right, don't copy his answer. I'm not going to copy his answer. I think... I don't know how all men are, but I think in, mm -hmm. I think in the Can early stages, we're, we're quite self, selfish lovers. I would think. Okay. So I haven't never really. I agree with that. Yeah. I've never really thought about a woman Literally. climaxing like. What? Uh, no, but bro. He's he's telling his truth. Go on. Yeah, yeah, like sorry, no, because it's when is. I'm not being mean, but that's how you know it's bad sex. When coming up, was it a thing where the man will say, "Oh, make sure they make the girl come." That was never anything that was ever put towards us. That became something later when that we heard for women. Oh, I need to come. What? Or do, you don't do this. You don't What's do that? that. So me personally, the next thing I want to say, like, oh yeah, I haven't. I don't feel accomplished until she does. I've never gone down on a girl before. And then you're going to say, that means you could have never satisfied a girl. Not true. But then I would say I have, but then I also know that there's, you know, times where in the past that I could say she, a girl didn't. But then I wasn't I like bothered that. by that. Good. Yeah. It doesn't okay, mean anything. Like, so what, you're a selfish lover? No, because it's not relationship bound. In a relationship, I've been with a girl who I could say wasn't good in bed, but it wasn't about that. Because when you're with someone that you like or you love, it's, sex is supposed to be a connection. So I'm saying mm, to you, so yeah. it's never been about what she can do. So I'm not thinking about another girl. What's so I'm saying, name? no. Why, when you're in love, no. you should be thinking no, about what so she can do. I think there's a lot of emphasis that's put on the actual act of sex versus, oh, I'm with someone that I really love and it's intimate, yeah? Because when you're with someone that you really care about, I don't think none of these things matter. But and I think... They do. You may think it don't, but it does. Like, I think if it's my wife, I would do whatever my, not wifey, my wife, I would do whatever she requires to keep her happy because she's my wife. I think sometimes we do so much with our boyfriends and girlfriends. Yeah. By the time we get to our husband, what There's do we say left. for them? There's nothing left. Yeah. You've literally done everything with, with these people that have not going to so. be. And then what happens is when you actually meet the person that you who who's a good man and he can provide and pay for, you're focusing on sex, which is an important thing. But I think it makes it a lot harder to please you when you have multiple partners. That is that is that exclusive to women? Men is not I, no, I think men and women are different I, in that regard. I think, I think men are more easy, easy going to be easier to so please. Easier, easier. Yeah, way, yeah. way easier. Even if you, even if, even if you've banged loads of women, yeah. your woman would still be able to please you in, in that respect. Yes. Whereas if she's got high mileage yes. and she smashed bare man, yeah, bare yes. techniques, you're competing with all them men. Let me not lie to and you. And I'm saying that a woman is going to be harder to please than I reckon a man would. A man can get hard over us where we are more complicated to please. Yes, 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 yes. You've got a mileage with all these porn star guys. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mad. It's not about mileage. Don't get triggered. Don't get triggered, ladies. It's not, you know exactly what I'm She always wants to argue for everything. No, but I'm just saying, I'm not trying to argue with you, but you can't just say, it's not about, I'm not triggered at all. The fuck is my business with that? The question was one X. 
She's no, thinking about one ex, yes, not a plethora of them. That's a part of the mileage. It, every woman is different. I might like something, doesn't mean I have a different mileage, or she like, might like something different. It's not about the mileage. The probability is if you got higher mileage, you've had more dicks. So yeah, what's that got to do with anything? Because... What if I pleased myself? Listen, you guys are being triggered. What if I grew up masturbating, and now I've met you, and you can't make me climax? There's no mileage. That's why masturbation's not good. The scenario is another dick. That's the scenario. Different. You're saying if, if I was, you know, pleasing myself and earlier on she spoke about the rose toy. All of these dildos, all of these things, all they do is they make the expectations hard. Like they'll have things that are buzzing, hitting three points at one time. No man can do that. I want things don't do that. So what happens is women build unrealistic expectations. And by the time you get to a man, you're like, oh, he's not making me come. But of course he's not making you come because you're used to doing this and doing that and multiple things. So I just think sometimes I think it, it, the responsibility bears on a woman to teach a man how to please her. Because if he's not doing these things, then whose fault is it? Because after five years, yeah. I'm sorry, your and communication is terrible. Yeah, you the haven't told him, you terrible. haven't showed him. Yeah, I think there's certain things if you're just in a, in a casual sexual relationship, you, might, you, you wouldn't do with maybe someone that you was in a long-term relationship <laughs> yeah. with. So I think sometimes we should save some people for some things for our long-term partners. Okay. That's me, what about you? I agree, I agree. Is there another point you want to add to that? No, I'm good. Are you sure? Okay, so what's the question? <laughs> okay, can you tell when a girl's not enjoying herself? I'd like to exercise my rights. No, oh, oh, come on, man. No, no, I, no, personally, I think you can tell, and that's because of the body connection. When your body responds well to the person, then you enjoy it more. And you don't actually, I don't think you actually have to have a big or small dick for that. I feel like before anything, you have to actually like the person. See, when you like the person, girl, a girl can nut in seconds. And you ain't done no magic tricks. It's just because you're inside her, that's making her like you so much. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, it depends on the connection. Once you get the right connection in the bed and the body responds well to you, you know you're doing well. When it's if off. the body's not responding well, I don't... I don't so you're saying the it. connection, or you're saying the, the way she responds the way physically? Your, the way her body responds to you. Yeah. yeah. You're going you're gonna to feel right? you're doing something Endorphins, right. Endorphins, my boy. Right? But when I said the way she moves, then there was like some turbulence, like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. It was the right thing. Kind of. Talking about. So you're talking about sex for you guys, is sex for guys, is it more a physical thing or a mental thing? Because I feel like females, Both. it's more a mental thing, Men right? Definitely. For you, yeah, it's more like a... Yeah, spiritual experience for us to actually get to that position. I think it's only with a wife. Then if it's mental, why do women talk about they want big dicks? Uh, I don't know who you're speaking to. I don't know who said that, but keep me away from big dicks. You've never heard a woman say she wants a big dick. You've never heard that. Back in the day. You've never heard that. I have heard it, of course, but I don't hear I've it I've never anymore. heard that in my life. So I'm asking, why do women say that? I feel like it's the Chat out to the guys with little dicks. I feel like it's an immature mentality. <laughs> <laughs> when is it mental and when is it... I think I think what happens with a lot of guys here is that when when you when you invest in a tuntun for too long mm. and you pray to the tuntun, <laughs> you caress the tuntun, you it, it becomes such a thing where it's almost like it's forbidden areas now for any other person. It's because you're doing it too much with that person, okay. and that connection builds. It goes beyond physical. Yeah, we're now in a you different know, level of emotion. Soul ties. It's almost soul ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, man? To the point where that if you did. Do something and you cheated on man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's it's gonna send you left. So sometimes one night stands. Sorry, sorry, my guy. Sometimes one night stands. You think it's you a think that you think that guys don't care. But the problem is the one night stand. It's literally just one night, and it just happened. That's just physical. We can leave that. It's when you start going back again and again and again. It's when you have and, unprotected sex. And, and the more you're doing it, you're you're learning new things about the person. To the point where it gets to a point where you don't even need to touch the person, the person's already wet. Aye, aye. Dex is stand for sacred exchange. Was it S sacred energy exchange? That's what sex means. Bars. Well, that's in English, because in Portuguese it don't mean that. That's the, that's, that's, that's the point you're leaving. No, yeah, there seems to be something that men don't like. Like, there seems to be something that men don't have. Men don't have emotions, but we do, right? Mm. And I was saying, like, when you have protected sex, you, it, it, it doesn't, no, nah, it's just, it's, it's not personal. When you start having unprotected, unprotected sex with someone, you start passing energies and all these types of things. And for men, for women, it probably it can attach a lot sooner, but for men, once we get attached, it's a lot harder for us to break up. And that's why sometimes when a man breaks up with a girl, he starts doing the madness, you know, you hear about suicide. Don't, you don't hear that really when a girl breaks up too much, the same way you hear about when men don't take breakups well when they're completely connected. So I'm saying to you, especially when they invested years and years and all of a sudden a woman says, you know what, I want a divorce, I'm taking half, I'm taking the kids. Man don't know what to do, their brain starts, you know what I'm saying to you? Yeah. And- um, Over I'm saying, sex, imagine. I'm just saying, 
we have to just, sex can be just sex. But when you start sleeping with somebody, I know a lot of guys that will start sleeping with a girl, she might sleep with a lot of people in the end. He's like, oh, she's nothing. She's just a hoe, she's this. After a while, man start pillow talking. And before you know it, He's man, in love with her. He's in love. Full blown. And then she becomes his baby mama. And it's like, you're trying to be like, raw, bro, that's that girl. That's, that's when it becomes worse. Worse. So you do believe in the soul tie thing. It's interesting because she doesn't see it that way. She thinks that it's a way for men to manipulate women. No, and no, that's what you think that. as well? Yeah, no, I don't believe I think What? What? Let her land, let her land, let her land. Is that on the head? I generally think, yeah, soul ties is a mind game. And not min you manipulating us or we manipulating you. I generally feel like, because now, I know I used to say the boy I lost it to, sorry family found that you're listening, but you know, <laughs> oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I don't give a fuck about him now. I don't. I, I ain't gonna go back for nothing. I, it's like, I just generally feel like it's a mind game. You telling yourself. That's hey, what, hey, you, hey, want, princess, you want a reason to be an idiot. That's let me what, tell that's you something now, shorty. Yeah. No, it's true. Let me tell you something now, shorty. You it. young, shorty. We old folk out here, shorty. She, it's true. This is one of the biggest misconceptions in the world that people say that when women have sex, it's emotional. It doesn't have to be emotional. I know. Well, we do Listen, catch feelings for us. You speak for yourself. The Nelva is the reason why so many women find themselves in dumb situations because you go into it thinking that you can handle it. And then when you catch the feelings, and then you're calling that man, now your mood is based on whether he answers your text or not. You're it's too late. You're caught up. You need to understand what you're doing, ladies. We catch feelings. We can't handle situationships the way men can. Simple. Do you, no, but it's scientific, no, 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 no. babe. We you, release you certain hormones. Can I ask listen, a question, can, please? Wait, you can release certain hormones, but it's very inaccurate to say that a woman has to have a, a always ends up having an emotional Not connection always. Not always. over sex. In fact, in fact, we can see even more now that there are women that will be doing things with men and having sex with men. It has nothing to do with emotions. Hold on, hold on. So, hold on, hold on, so hold on. that is why, that is why, hold on. Hold on. That is why I would like you guys to understand one thing, right? Women can please themselves. Women can have sexual discipline, but we're not very different, okay? okay. So that is why thing. sex will be very important for some girls. Unle what we mean by it's emotional is like, unless the woman is selling box, yeah? Mm. She has to like the guy <laughs> to, lay to, down sleep with with him. Her, to sleep with him. A man can sleep with a woman he doesn't like. Yeah. But she's saying I that women can do that as well. No, no, women no, can. No, they can. can. No. They can do it. Small proportion of women. They hear it as, it's not as common. Yeah, but what, girls, girls just won't tell you the truth. Girls just won't tell you the truth. Traditional women are out the window, cuz. I just want to say one thing, yeah, and this is going back more to the question about the guy underperforming, yeah, because she asked about mental or whatever and physical, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of both, but the thing is, yeah, if the guy, like, for instance, he's stressed out, he's got problems, or he's feeling under pressure, oh my God, this is a bad BR, this is the best looking girl I've ever fucked in my life, he may not, his dick may not go up, or maybe he's having sex, he wants to bust quick, he's like, oh, he keeps stopping, you know, he goes, oh, why are you stopping, keep going. Sorry, like, Richard. Kind of performance that's anxiety, mental. performance anxiety. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Research it, research it. That's mental, isn't it? Like, do you get what I'm saying? So that's what I was going to say. Men do have emotions and mental processes that do affect their sex life, and that's why we shouldn't judge too okay, much. Can I say something? Cool, you know, going back to the question, it said that she spoke to him, right? Mm -hmm. So, generally, oh. the reason I feel like she should, if she was to go, she should go because both genders get sexually frustrated. Mm. So it's like, it's like why he's not fulfilling her sexual frustration at the end of the day and she's spoken to him about it, but he, she would take Did it, it say that she spoke to him? Yes, I'm sure it's another question that she I don't think it did, you know. Yeah, it didn't. Like, it didn't say no. But, 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 but the thing is that if you're feeling sexually frustrated and your partner's not fulfilling that, yeah, why why are you going to sit there and... Because sometimes it's uh, insensitive well, no, but to tell them. The thing is, yeah, it, it's not. Just be like, it's really not. If you feel like that, then charge well, it. But it. I generally feel like a lot of it is down to selfishness. A man, because once a man bosses, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done. They don't care. And they're not, they're not feeling, <laughs> like, bro. I've been, I've been guilty to that. Like, like. I have been, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have been, I'm sorry. I feel like, before I thought sex wasn't that deep, like, in a relationship, like it was, but it's actually very serious, because some people are overly sexual. They like, you know, is it they, serious they to like you? to do it. I'm not overly se sexual. I I can go one year without it. It's not an issue. Cap. Yeah. Stop capping. I, I, I'm being dead. You look like you like sex. I'll go, be real. Me? Yeah, your face. I can go one year <laughs> without <laughs> it. Stop the cap, Cookie. Big girls can't go long times without having sex. So, Cookie, stop the cap. Even though your man is overseas, you're still putting things inside of you. He's calling you a hoe. You calling her a hoe? No, you look good. You look good. You look good. You know what I'm saying? Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I'm just.
What's the maximum period every girl can handle? Let me finish, let me finish. So I can literally go a year without it. It's not that serious. You're not going to go so a year. So in that instance, I can go a year. I've been a year. My partner lives in another country. What are you talking about? And no masturbation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, she's going through bare batteries. Bare batteries, bro. Bare question, batteries. Question, question. <laughs> Just Wait. mixing batteries. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Even if I'm in that instance, it's not that deep. I'll just there are batteries the, in the room, boy. Fuck off! I could go to the I could go to the toilet, finish it off, and it's not, I, can, I can live the rest of my life like that. But other people can't because I'm not gonna lie, penetration isn't and isn't it's okay, but it's not it's not amazing. Does your does your, does your man in, in, in abroad know this? It's not. It's not. It's not. No. 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 He doesn't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Stop. Don't say does your, that. Does your man know that he don't stop, doesn't do it for you? Let me talk. But you rather touch yourself. No, than stop trying to embarrass my man. I'm, 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 no, his foreplay does though. Wait, 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 you. You. Wait, 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 like that's what I was trying to say. Like okay. foreplay is more of an importance to me than nah. than nah, I mean, than penetration. Okay. His his. Okay, question. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it on. I want to find out from you guys because this trying to do something very interesting. Okay. Judging by the look, how long do you think is the maximum period a girl here can uh, wait without uh, it? Mate, what from what you from your. Can I speak first? I'll be real. I'm gonna. Women control access to sex. Okay. So, if anyone. We, we're not gonna, look, I'll be real. If any one of you guys went on your social media now and you posted today that on your social media, yeah, I just want someone to come, like I'm feeling lonely, oh, will, will someone come and keep me company? Watch your DMs pop up. And, <laughs> and basically, and that's it. But if we did it. But that's not the question. What? what? That so, is not the question. What, what is it? The question is, what, how, what is the maximum period that you can judge from? Did you hear what I said to you? Did you hear what I said to you? From, from what? Uh, you hear what I said to you? Two months. He, exactly. Two weeks. I was saying that one month, <laughs> one and a half months. Uh, oh. Ooh, maybe. No, you're naughty. One month. <laughs> <laughs> you, about the you women control. You women control it, and you know you're all attractive women in here. So you women control it. So it's up to you how long it is, really. It's true. And let me tell you something. The reason why I'm asking you that, in this school that you said this, is because. I have to say, I have to practice a lot of restraint and a lot of self-control for me not to fall into the position of being always promiscuous, right? Mm. Yeah, because there's a lot of men that are attracted to me and they'll, they'll approach me with an energy that is like, damn. But I have to mean? hold myself It's hard back. for her to not throw a box it's, around. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Listen. It's hard for you to not throw your box around and share it with everyone. Like, basically what you're saying is, so, what you're saying is you like sex. Listen, you like sex. No, it's not that's what I'm I saying. Do. What I'm saying is what no listen. Wait, wait, wait. What I'm saying is you guys are talking about women control sex. Yes, we do. But we also have to practice a lot of self-discipline because there are fine men that will approach you and they will say the right things, but you know that you have morals and you have to fight against the demon that wants to So what wait, wait, hold, hold, hold. So what have you not all got this demon in you? What? Yeah. 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 I mean, I do not have any demon inside I'm a you. Real, yeah. I'm a I mean, I don't have any demon. I will never have a demon in me, in Jesus' name. Do never. Maybe you have a demon, a spirit inside of you. But as for me, I am covered with the blood of Jesus. Don't do that. If I believe genuinely, I genuinely believe that if there was no societal judgment upon mm. me no, as a woman no. to be generally. actively yeah. doing, uh, you know, oh. sex how men, how men can't do it. Trust me, I would be doing the maddest. What? You'd be outside? I agree. What? Yeah, what? yeah what? girls are like guys, man. They are. Because, I'll tell you why. Because it's, I, it's, it feels good. Wait, because, listen, it feels good. It would be easy to get. It makes me feel sexy. Why would I not? I feel amazing. So I would, but I practice sexual discipline. Why? Because I want to be in a position that whenever I am touched, I can just faint. So I can't be touched a lot. So I stay away. It's about your mileage. It was you. Yeah, yeah, mileage, yeah. So therefore you're backing his point then.
Because it's you're saying that, so don't you're, you're saying that it's lazy don't to rack up mileage. So one of my favourite phrases, racking up mileage, for anyone who don't understand and anyone that is currently doing it, yeah? Racking up mileage is when you're going out there in the streets, active, collecting dicks. Yeah, you're collecting miles of willy. Yeah, your bucket has seen many, many men come in and come out and then come on, bruv. Yes. So that's what racking up mileage is. Uh, women need to practice self-discipline when it comes to sex as well because it will cause problems like that. For example, right now, it doesn't really matter if you're good in bed or not. If a man was to touch me a certain way, I would faint. Why? Because I've been starving myself over there. Oh, you're roasting? Well, right now, you're roasting now. Are you roasting now? Why are you putting words in people's mouths? She looked like she was getting wet as she was talking. Legs was shaking and trembling and shit. She started going red and shit. Like, Denova, what's going on there, man? <laughs> You know, there's a whole group of guys here, five of us. <laughs> Who are you looking at thinking like, you know, I know you're picking one of us, who is it? The next man to touch me proper has to be the one. So, me, I'm, I'm here roasting, baby. Where are you now? Wow. Ah. <laughs> Where are what are you saying, Lois? You got to say, Lois? I wanted to throw a question to the guys that's similar to our scenario, but obviously slightly different. So imagine you're married, it's been five years, yeah, mm. and wifey just ain't giving you sex because she's not in the mood. Mm. Maybe you've got a child now. Just not giving sex yeah, in five years. Oh, five <laughs> years? Do you know how many women, when, once they I don't know those kids, women. They, I don't want to know them. Yeah, I know about that. Do you know, do you know how easy it is for They'll partners keep... to become housemates after they've had a child? Mm. That All that flame goes because you're exhausted, number one. There's, there's a little person now that takes priority. Do you get it? They might even be in the same room as you guys. Do you get it? So sometimes sex goes on the back burner. So I wanted to ask if you've invested in the tuntun. Not five years. She has a, she has a certain you've amount. You've invested in the tuntun. You, Look, you're um, five years I, I'll in be real. she ain't giving I'll it be real. to you. Are you leaving? Are you staying? No. You're not she getting is. sex. Huh? He's got his love. You're not getting sex. No, I won't leave her, but I'll definitely step out. Uh -huh. oh. No, because hold on a second. Sorry, because, shot no, because, from you. No, because no, because one but of the. But you said before that you don't cheat. No, I don't no, cheat. But if you're gonna be my wife, hold on a second. I'm, I'm not talking about breaking up my family. That's a separate thing. I'm talking about if you're refusing to give me sex and for five years. Okay, cool. We're still gonna keep the family together. But then there's certain needs that are not being met. If I, as a man, was refusing to give you sex for five years. I don't, don't break up the family, but if you stepped out, I couldn't cry. If I said to my brethren, mm. oh, she went and F someone else, he'd be like, why? Oh, I didn't sleep with her for five years. He'd be like, what do you expect? So, yeah. truth. if you deny sex from your husband, which, you know, back in the day you couldn't, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but if you do that, then you can't complain if he goes and finds sex elsewhere, especially when you know how men are and how, depending on what type of man you have, if you've got any man that's worth anything, other women will be approaching him. And imagine they even find out an inkling that his yeah, woman- Yeah, now give you pussy for five years. In the office. Come here. Wait, hold on, wait, yeah, wait. But, no, don't, but don't, I don't agree with cheating though. Don't, 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 don't try to come for me, yeah? <laughs> but then at least you would know, if you went in jail, your female will hold you down. She could hold you down if she could hold you down for five years. But is years he in jail? Long. This ain't HMP baby mother, brother. Come on, yeah, like, what's going brother. on, like? Oh, you five, five years, five yeah, years, bro. Yeah, but so, if you was 365 days, five times. Are, Are you all right? And I'm in the yard. <laughs> in do the yard. Do not. Look at <laughs> With a baby. Did, I did want to ask something, no, China. Can I ask China a question? I just clocked what you said. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is about the mileage thing, yeah? Because there's something you said about um, sometimes when a girl's had too much sex before she meets her husband, mm -hmm. then she's got people to compare him with. Yeah. Um, just clarify that you're not saying, because for me, what that tells me is that, oh, it's better for her to never have had sex so that she doesn't even know what bad sex is. That would be good. Well, that's ideal. Back in the day, that would be yeah, ideal. Back in the day, back in the day, they used to do that though. Well, ideally, ideally, look, the most, I, the most ideal thing. A man would love to have a virgin. I did ask China. Yeah. Sorry. So the most ideal thing would be, I'm a virgin. You're a virgin. We learn ourselves together. I, this is what was supposed that's to happen. Dead, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So. Yeah. Okay, okay. They'll say no, Hell but no. most men will prefer that their woman was only with them and learnt from them. Hell yeah? no. Okay, okay, cool. Some men want their woman to come with a goat, got 3,000 with a twist Hell already. Yeah. But then, when you learn that shit, motherfucker. But then you're thinking, oh, no, so you're shit. enjoying it, but you're thinking, oh, you're, you're enjoying it, but you're thinking, raw. Oh, no, hold on a second. You're thinking, raw, but who used to get this before? Don't matter. I didn't figure that no more. That was when I was in school. Pepper is different now. She learned that somewhere. She learned that. Hey, numbers don't matter no more. We older now, folks. <laughs> let me just ask. Guys, let me just. Guys, let me just ask. Let me, let me just answer Lois. Let me answer Lois, yeah? So, so ideally, yeah, I think that. 
I don't know what they say. What is it? Is it after three bodies? The what is the the, the what's the the pairing? The bond um, pair bonding. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it drops in yeah. at the rate of yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is that based on we do not release oxytocin anymore? No, we, no, 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 no. What's it's not. that based on science? Because I feel like that's propaganda. I mean, this like, science, this is all propaganda. How do you know think, what I think? Hold on one second, like, Danelva. Okay. I don't think that bonding oh. hormone goes away. It's either you're telling me that we stop secreting that, that no, 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 wait, 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 hormone wait, wait. when we're having sex. Wait, 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 wait. And if that's the case, fair enough, the, the bonding stops. No. But it doesn't. No. It's not true. I think it becomes harder to bond harder. when you have multiple. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, so if you have, okay, if you have 10 partners, okay, yeah? Ten partners, right? Ten dicks. Like yeah. Ten and then dicks. You meet, and then you meet your eleventh yeah, guy, yeah. You, you meet your eleventh guy, right? Now, cool. And this guy is a good guy. He does all the right things. You know, on paper, he matches. He's perfect, right? But in the bedroom area, he doesn't fulfill certain requirements. It could be based upon how he moves, based upon his size. But the reason you feel as if this is because, um, because you've had. 10 guys before him. So now these guys, for any reason, have imprinted on you where you are comparing the sexual experience to that, okay? So now this guy, although he's a good guy, mm -hmm. he has never done anything to you based upon any of the previous guys, yeah? He is now suffering based upon the guys that you met before. So I'm not saying you cannot pair bonds. Is it based on the guys before? Listen. Is it based on the fact that in five years, no, you he's, guys not are talking nonsense. he's not managed to please How the her. hell are you going to want to be with a woman that hasn't had the experience of knowing what Thank it is you very to much. be sexy? You want to have a bad girl what? in bed, that is your ultimate fantasy. So you can Ooh. actually have Ooh. a woman that can give you Ooh. everything no, as long as you stop no, your wife, purity. Though. Simple. Your wife, your wife needs to be sexy. So I that agree. You can continue to Stop trying to convince men to wipe hoes. Zanelva, why are you trying to promote women just sleeping around with loads of men so that they're going to be perfect for their last guy, bro? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to know what you're talking about. Bro, you're a bad example, Zanelva. What are you talking about? Yeah? About, yeah, they need to experience loads of dicks, bro. No, they don't, bro. Yeah, you need to find the right guy and stick with that guy because the reality is if you've had all these different shapes and sizes and techniques of dick, bro, you're probably not going to be happy with one. One man can't satisfy her. That's the song, bruv. That's why you guys cheat. No, That's no, why no. men will cheat. No, let me say something. That's why no, men no. will cheat because no, next girl is sexier no, than his woman. Michael, Michael, if more men were with the woman of their dreams, they'll be less cheating. I think a lot of men, hold on, hold on. All I'm hearing is wife up hoes. That's all I'm hearing, bruv. I think hoes make great wives sometimes. <laughs> I think a lot of men get with the woman that they could take to their mum home and the mum will be like, eh, hey, she looks like a good woman. She looks hey. like she'll cook, she'll clean. And guess what? They cheat on the one that they really want. The sexy girl, the bad girl. Let me tell you even more. And let me tell you something even more. A woman having sex with different men doesn't actually change her substance that deeply. What? Depending to on To us it does. does. To it us. Depending That's a problem. Wait, wait. It's not a problem with the market. Listen, You're not. Listen, Propaganda. stop, 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 stop. Depending on how she does it. So yeah. when there's certain things that come to self-respect and why girls, certain girls will be hoes and other girls are not hoes. They're simply fulfilling hoes. their Hoes, I love the way you needs. say it, hoes. So, <laughs> certain girls are just hoes. Wait, wait. So when you're saying about a woman that has had sexual experience and you're wifing yeah. a hoe, wow. that you're actually, you're being very dumb. Because How? there are women, listen, there are women no. that can, that will hold you down for life simply because of their sex appeal. That does not come from so a is it the So is it the best case scenario? Is it the best case scenario if the woman's got high mileage? Bro, if you want... I'm just asking you. Listen, it's, it's not... A it's, scenario. But it's not about, mile, not about high mileage. They have to have a certain level of mileage so that you even know the well, thing what's, works. What's, 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 what number of dicks is the right amount of dicks for her to have had before she gets to a man? Listen, However no, many no, no, she no, no, does, no, how, whatever her desire is. <laughs> what, 50? So it could be 300 dicks? Yeah. No, that's too many, that's too many. Oh, too many. <laughs> oh my God. That's what she wants. No, that's too many. That's not sex appeal. That's not sex appeal. I know it's not sex appeal. That is not sex appeal. That is I know not it's not appealing, but if Within wants... reason, that is not sex appeal. That is different, and that's what I'm saying. There's differences. So how many then? Shahor. Just roughly, roughly, Listen, roughly. It doesn't matter because it's so contextual depending on the age, depending on the experience, Everything. relationship, and so on. So you guys are so dumb when you think about stuff like that. Just remember, okay. for a girl to be sexy, for her to know her body, and for her to step to you and really be that woman, she's had to have had a couple dicks. She needs yeah. to know okay. what it feels like. A couple like. dicks, you yeah. Can't complain about shit sex then if you want someone with no mileage do you know what i'm saying but that's not the scenario if the girl's not giving you that guap guap three thousand don't complain at the end of the day at the end of, listen listen men are easy to please no bro men are easy to 
finish. please. Let me finish. Let me finish. So you can't complain about her having dead sex if her mileage is low. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You're saying you want someone, you don't want someone with that shit sex and you're going to leave blood. More time, if a guy's com complaining about a woman sexually, it's usually because she smells funny or something to do with that. Not necessarily. pH yes, balance is, is way off. Is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Or maybe a, maybe a box is just loose as fuck. It's one of those two. But if, she's, if she hasn't banged nobody, most guys would be okay. Well, okay, she, she's got no experience with other dicks, but at least she's my woman. At least she's my woman. And she only knows my dick. Most guys would be all right with that, actually. I'm going to tell you a story, Sarah, a story after. A lot of males want, when they hear a girl's a virgin, it's raw. Yeah, not I anymore. would not. You're a trophy. But no, it is. It's a shock now. And not, not, it's a shock now. It is a shock now. Not now. A virgin, you're, I've got to see her on the streets. you got to go and get some, get some heartbreak or something. Fuck that shit. I... Listen, in my age group, I am 18 of age. There is rarely any virgins in my age group that I know of. So, the Nava is generally self respect and it's not weird. Has more self respect. No, she'll be a bit weird. Why is that weird? It's not weird. I know. No, she would. Let weird. me tell you why. But that's, that, that just no, tells you what society no, 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 is now. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's rare. rare. It's society is fucked. Everyone's a scumbag. It's rare. Everyone's a. Most people are scumbags, including women. As a woman, she will be weird. Wait, let her land. She didn't finish her. Yeah, Leah didn't finish. Leah. I can't even fucking. No, can I ask you a question? You said something about self respect. You said that if a girl's a virgin, she has more self respect than someone that's not a virgin. So, are you trying to say that us people that are not virgins don't have self respect? Mane? Me, as for me, maybe you don't have self-respect though. But me, I know that I have self-respect. Please don't put me in that category. Thank you. Cool. A girl, if I, if she's not a virgin and a beast, she's one, two, whatever. But it's like who you're going for at the end of the day mm -hmm. as well. And that also shows your self-respect. Yeah. Like, but I'm saying as a virgin, she must she it's not even self-respect she must know what she's waiting for well girls i feel in this generation i know girls that have just lost it because their friends have lost it now yes and yeah. that's fashion it and so that pressure. girl it just generally shows that girl she must be different not weird she must be different and mean she's not a follower because these girls are following their friends they've seen their friends so they're going to fuck someone i can say my old best friend basically fucked someone just because she was a virgin. What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are being you guys are being unrealistic. You're unrealistic. One thing you're saying about virgins is a lot of girls that say they're virgins but they're sucking a lot of dick. Yeah. They're not taking dick inside them, but they're oh, sucking oh, oh, a lot of dick. Oh, oh. Do them. Okay, can I, but she's still a virgin. Yeah. So what does that mean? Sucking dick is worse in my opinion. What's worse? What's worse? I know you could <laughs> Okay, sleep with ten guys or sucking ten guys' dicks, what's worse? Ooh, I it's, think it's, it's techie, but I would say no, just 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 shit on a random. For me, I'd think sucking off ten man because and why is that? Yeah, bruv, that's <laughs> mental, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> that's mental <laughs> blood. That is me <laughs> that's <laughs> mental <laughs> blood. Can I ask a real quick question? Don't guys compare partners? As in, if you had amazing sexual partners before you've met your wife, you telling me you won't? Men are easy to please. I don't want to. I'm just asking. Do easy, men compare? Well. You can wife up a girl that could be shit at sex, but she looks great when she's naked. I'm, I'm There's guys that will do shit seems, like that. No. I'm just asking because there seems to be a sort of narrative, particularly from you, that he women Absolutely should not rack up their mileage. But it seems <laughs> to be, it seems to be that men can do what they want, but women can't. I'm so not I'm saying asking, you can't do what you want, but there's I'm just repercussions I'm just saying and consequences in this room, for your actions. Michael, listen. I'm saying in this room, yeah. there's a narrative coming from you in particular that women shouldn't run up their mileage, but there doesn't seem to be any policing over what men should do. Yeah, so I'm asking, should. as a man. When you get with your future wife, I assume you've had a lot of sex. I'm gonna assume a that little bit. You. Yeah. <laughs> if if your wife ain't doing if your wife ain't doing crazy acrobatics and she's not wild with it, whatever. Da, 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 are you telling me you won't think? If of she's a decent spot? woman, I don't care. Cool. Now, like that's right. She's mentioned that being a virgin is weird. I just want to say to young girls watching this, it's not weird to be a virgin. It's rare, it's darling. Rare. It's rare. It's not it's weird. Rare. Rare. Do you not know feel do you, know you don't have to have sex. You don't have to get to have sex. But if you get to 25 and you haven't had sex in the world of today, there it might be something a bit weird with you. There's because nothing wrong. There's, There's nothing, nothing wrong. wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. The first guy you meet in the club. Go get that. Free it up to the after 25. Yeah, after 25, free it up. Don't take that advice. Don't take that advice. Hey, it's ladies, the ladies, truth. ladies, ladies, ladies. It's the what we should be advising, what you should be advising yeah. is for all the young girls out there, you if you are going to go and have sex with someone, please have it 
because your heart wants you to have it and please protect yourself. Protect yourself. Yep. Yes. yes. Amen. Don't do it because of a it. shoe uh -huh. or a bag mm -mm. or a holiday flat. Oh. If you want to give yourself to someone, give yourself someone holy. Amen. Uh -huh. Please. And if you run out your mileage, don't get mad because guys don't want you. Listen, sex is not a be or end or get your rose toy, use your hands, do it yourself if your partner can't do it. It's not that serious. 